There was a day in 2011 when I'm told I was the highest person on earth. Literally. For a few minutes that I will remember for the rest of my life, I stared through the froth formed on the canopy of our aircraft as deeply as I could into forever. <laughs> you got it. That'll be good for you. Got it the wall. Over the years, I've been blessed with many opportunities to visit our servicemen and women in the distant and often dangerous places where they live and work. In 2010, through a friend of mine who worked for the USO, I was invited to take a flight on the legendary U-2 spy plane. Beale is an 86,000 acre base that was opened in October of 1942 as an army training site for armored and infantry divisions. It also served as a prisoner of war encampment during World War II. It transferred to the Air Force in 1948. And Beale is headquarters for our U-2 program. The U-2 Dragon Lady is one of the most amazing defense systems ever developed by the United States. This is so cool. I admit it. I've always been a space groupie. When I was preparing to play astronaut Ken Mattingly in Ron Howard's Apollo 13, I got to meet Jim Lovell and a number of the astronauts. I met Gene Kranz, the flight director, who did so much to get that badly damaged craft and her crew home. You get that nice uh, thin blue line all the stuff that keeps us alive. I thought of the expression, Mother Earth, we use so glibly. And it suddenly seemed deeply profound. 